In his eight NFL seasons, Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Julio Jones has piled up 10,731 receiving yards. 38 players in NFL history have more, although none of them, or any other player in the league's annals, had as many receiving yards when they reached 30 years old, as Jones does. Jones turned 30 on February 3 after leading the NFL with 1,677 receiving yards in 2018. That moved him two-thirds of the way to catching the only player from an Alabama high school with more NFL receiving yards than the former Foley High School star. Terrell Owens, who played at Benjamin Russell High School in Alexander City, had 15,934 receiving yards in his 15-year career. Only Jerry Rice and Larry Fitzgerald have more receiving yards than Owens in NFL history. Owens has had more NFL receiving yards than any other former Alabama high school player since 2004, when he passed John Stallworth, and still had seven seasons ahead of him at that time. Stallworth had replaced Ozzie Newsome, who had replaced Jimmy Red Phillips, who had replaced Harlan Hill, who played his final NFL game, 58 seasons ago. Jones has averaged an NFL record 96.7 receiving yards per game during his career. If he could continue that rate, Jones would catch Owens in the fourth game of the 2022 season. For more of Alcom's comprehensive coverage of the NFL, go to our NFL Pagath 10 players from Alabama high schools who have the most NFL receiving yards are, Ronald Martinez 1. Terrell Owens, 15,934 receiving yards San Francisco 49ers 1996-2003, Philadelphia Eagles 2004-05, Dallas Cowboys 2006-08, Buffalo Bills 2009, Cincinnati Bengals 2010, the former Benjamin Russell standout caught 1,078 passes, averaged 14.8 yards per reception and scored 153 receiving touchdowns during his career. In addition to ranking third in NFL history in receiving yards, Owens also ranks eighth in receptions and third in touchdown catches. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2018. Will Bragovic too. Julio Jones, 10,731 receiving yards Atlanta Falcons 2011-18, the former Foley in Alabama standout has caught 698 passes, averaged 15.4 yards per reception and scored 51 receiving touchdowns during his career. Jones has led the NFC in receiving yards for five consecutive seasons. 3. John Stallworth, 8,723 receiving yards Pittsburgh Steelers 1974-87, the former Central Tuscaloosa in Alabama A. Stallworth played on four Super Bowl winning teams and caught 11 passes for 268 yards and three touchdowns in those NFL championship games. Stallworth was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2002. 4. Ozzie Newsome, 7,980 receiving yards Cleveland Browns 1978-90, the former Colbert County in Alabama standout caught 662 passes, averaged 12.1 yards per reception and scored 47 receiving touchdowns during his career. A member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame's class of 1999, Newsome is the Browns franchise leader in receptions and reception yards. Jared Wickerham 5 Jericho Cautry, 6,623 receiving yards New York Jets 2004-10, Pittsburgh Steelers 2011-2013, Carolina Panthers 2014-15, the former Phillips standout caught 524 passes, averaged 12.6 yards per reception and scored 34 receiving touchdowns during his career. Cautry had 1,130 receiving yards in 2007, one of the 24 1,000-yard seasons produced in the NFL by former Alabama prep players. Terrell Owens had 9 1,000-yard seasons, Julio Jones has 6, John Stallworth had 3, Harold Hill and Ozzie Newsom had 2 apiece and Jimmy Red Phillips had 1. 6. 
Jimmy, Red, Phillips, 6044 receiving yards Los Angeles Rams 1958-64, Vikings 1965-67, the former Benjamin Russell and Auburn standout caught 401 passes, averaged 15.1 yards per reception and scored 34 receiving touchdowns during his career. Phillips was an All-Pro selection in 1961, when he led the NFL with 78 receptions. 7. Rich Caster, 5,515 receiving yards New York Jets 1970-77, Houston Oilers 1978-80, New Orleans Saints 1981, Washington Redskins 1981-82, the former Williamson standout caught 322 passes, averaged 17.1 yards per reception and scored 45 receiving touchdowns during his career. Of the players on the top 10 list Terrell Owens, Julio Jones, John Stallworth, Jericho Cautry, Red Phillips and Harlan Hill are wide receivers, and Ozzie Newsom and Marcus Pollard are tight ends. Caster's position is listed as tight end, but it's 6 foot 5 and 228 pounds, he also could play wide receiver. The No. 10 player on the state list, Tony Nathan, is a running back. 8. Harlan Hill, 4,717 receiving yards Chicago Bears 1954-61, Pittsburgh Steelers 1962, Detroit Lions 1962, the former Lauderdale County and North Alabama standout caught 233 passes, averaged 20.2 yards per reception and scored 40 receiving touchdowns during his career. Hill won the Newspaper Enterprise Association's NFL MVP award for the 1955 season, and his career yards per catch average is the third best in league history among qualifying players. Brian Barr 9. Marcus Pollard, 4,280 receiving yards Indianapolis Colts 1995-2004, Detroit Lions 2005-06, Seattle Seahawks 2007, Atlanta Falcons 2008, the former Valley standout caught 349 passes, averaged 12.3 yards per reception and scored 40 receiving touchdowns during his career. Pollard did not play football in college. He went to the NFL after playing basketball at Bradley. 10 Tony Nathan, 3,592 receiving yards Miami Dolphins 1979-87, the Woodlawn and Alabama standout caught 383 passes, averaged 9.4 yards per reception and scored 16 receiving touchdowns during his career. Nathan ranks 6th among former Alabama high school players in NFL rushing yards with 3,543 Alabama high school's top 10 NFL rushers. Jordan Howard replaces Bo Jackson Mark in a Bennett as a sports reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Mark1.